Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can make your Windows 10 PC go faster. Now if your PC feels like a turtle, uh, well that, that was actually a pretty fast turtle, but if your PC feels like a slow turtle, That's more like it. If your PC feels like a slow turtle, I'm gonna show you how to change that and how to make your PC go fast again. I'm gonna run through a few tips. Feel free to follow along. If you follow these tips, I'm sure and I will guarantee that you're gonna notice that your PC is faster. Okay, let's jump right into it. Here I am on my Windows desktop and the first thing uh, that I recommend doing is make sure that your computer is completely up to date. How do you do that? Well, you go down here on the taskbar um, in the search field and type in Windows Update. Uh, you'll see the first best match option is check for updates. We're gonna go ahead and click on that item. Uh, that'll open up Windows settings. Uh, right here, you'll see what the status of your PC is. Uh, my PC is up to date, but if yours isn't, uh, you'll notice a button here that allows you to check for updates, and if there are any updates, I recommend installing them. Uh, not only will it make sure that your Windows PC is completely up to date, but you'll also have all the latest drivers, and sometimes that makes a big performance difference if your machine isn't on the latest version. Okay, so now that, we've, uh, now that your computer is up to date, the next thing I wanna do is show you how you know what's causing your machine to slow down. And what we're gonna do is looking on the desktop, you'll have the taskbar on the bottom, right click on that, and you have an option called Task Manager. I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on Task Manager, and by default, it'll open up looking like this. This is the simplified view of the Task Manager where you can see all the apps that are running on your machine. Uh, if you click on More Details, this will open up the detailed view. And now, don't feel overwhelmed, there's a lot of stuff going on in this view, but I'm gonna walk you through uh, what's happening here. Uh, on the left hand side, you'll see all the different apps and all the different processes that are running on your computer. You'll see how much CPU each one is taking, how much memory, how much of your disk drive each one is using. Um, and what you could do is by clicking on the different columns, uh, you could see which one is driving most of the usage. So here on my CPU, I see that the screen capture tool that I'm using is using about 15% of my CPU, uh, but uh, this is out of 100%, so I still have a lot of my processor available. Uh, similarly, with memory, I could see how much I'm using. I could also see how much of my disk drive I'm using. What this will help you do is if you notice your PC is slow, you could look in here and you can see what's causing it. Is it your processor, is it your memory, or is it your disk drive, uh, or is it something else? And what you could do is if something's eating up a lot of your CPU and it's not something that you're using right now, um, make sure you know what it is. What you could do is you could right click on the item and you could end the task and that'll close the process. Uh, so sometimes that'll help if something's say eating up a lot of your disk drive, um, you could close it out. Uh, the next thing I wanna jump into, one, of the, one thing that really slows down a lot of PCs is when you boot up your machine, you have all these apps start in the background. Uh, there's another tab or pivot within here called Startup I'm gonna click on that and I can see all the programs on my machine that start up when I start my PC. Uh, if you're not using one of these apps or processes, you could go ahead and disable that. So here the, the send to OneNote tool, I use OneNote but I don't use the send to OneNote tool. I can right click on that and I could disable or enable it. So in this case, I've already disabled it. Um, I also, uh, this media check tool, I don't use this, so I've gone ahead and disabled that. So I've disabled a few apps when my Windows 10 PC starts up. That way they don't cause additional load on the machine. The next thing that I recommend doing is check the performance of your machine. Now, in Windows 10, when you open, let's say I open, uh, I'm gonna open my file explorer and I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna open the start menu. See how you have this transparent effect in the background? Well, the, the kind of transparency, the fade effects when you're using Windows, when I open this menu, you'll notice a slight fade. All of that makes Windows look very beautiful, uh, but the one side effect of that beauty is that it also slows down your machine. What we're gonna do is click on search on the taskbar again, and we're gonna type in performance, and there's an option called adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. Let's click on that. Uh, so now when I open this up, uh, you'll see visual effects, and I have a few different options here. One of them, which is probably a good one, is let Windows choose what's best for my computer, uh, in which case it'll balance out performance with the visuals. Uh, but if you're purely going for the best performance, uh, you could click on this adjust for best performance. You'll see one thing that happened when I toggle back and forth between these two options, you'll see all these check marks disappear 
when I click between them. So the, the fade that I was talking for, uh, talking about, the transparency effect, all those different visual effects get turned off, which helps with the performance of your machine. Uh, so you can turn those off and you should notice a slight performance improvement uh, if you adjust it for best performance. Now that we've adjusted the visuals of the machine, the next thing I wanna do is let's see what the hard drive disk space looks like. If you go down to your taskbar, you could click on this folder icon, it's called the File Explorer. Another way to get to it is you can go back down to your search and then type in File Explorer. It should be the first item that comes up. So I'm gonna click in the File Explorer uh, this is just a view of, of your uh, machine, what uh, your C drive, any of your hard drives that you might have. Um, so I have two hard drives on my machine, but what I could do is if I right click on the C drive with my mouse, I could go down to properties. And when I click in the properties, it'll show you what percentage of your hard drive that you're using. And so here in my C drive, I'm using about half of it, meaning that I still have quite a bit of free space. But if you notice that you're really running out of space, that can also really slow down your computer experience uh, because the more that's on your hard drive, most hard drives uh, spin. And if it's really crowded, it might have to go to different locations on the disk uh, to find what it's looking for, which results in slow performance. So you always wanna make sure um, you have a good amount of free space available on your hard drive. Um, if you're running low on hard drive space, what I recommend doing is get an external hard drive. Uh, what you could do is if you have any videos, if you have any photos, if you have any kind of files that you might access infrequently, you don't need those on your main hard drive. Instead, put them on an external hard drive and you should notice your performance improve. Another thing you could do too is if you're also noticing that you're running low on hard drive space, what you could do is we're gonna go back down to the search on the taskbar and I'm gonna type in uninstall. And you'll, you'll see an option pop up on the menu called add or remove programs. I'm gonna click into that and this opens up Windows settings again. And what you could do is you could sort this list. This is a list of all the apps on your machine. Uh, but what you could do is you can uh, sort by size. And so here I sorted by size and you'll see the amount of space that all your different apps take up. And now uh, one app that I have is City Skylines and it uses up about seven gigabytes, which is a pretty good amount of space that it's using up. If I wanted to free up that space, I could click on it and then click uninstall and that'll free up the seven gigs of space on my hard drive. So that's just one other thing you can do to free up hard drive space, which should also help with performance on your computer. Many computers have a spinning hard disk drive they, they also have another type of hard drive called a solid state drive. And a solid state drive has no moving parts, meaning that it can get back to the data quicker. Well, if you have a computer with a spinning hard drive, uh, you're not stuck. You can still get the performance benefits of a solid state hard drive. Well, how do you do that? Um, if you have a USB thumb drive, or in this case, I have a micro SD card. Uh, and what I could do is I take this flash card and I'm gonna put it in my PC. So I put it in the PC, and then what you could do is uh, we're going to go back to we're going to go back to Windows Explorer, and here I could see the removable drive or the remo removable card that I just put in my computer. I'm going to click on that, and then if you right-click on the file, we're going to go to Properties. Within Properties, uh, you'll see an option called Ready Boost. And what ReadyBoost does is it'll put system files or other types of files that the machine wants quick access to on the flash drive. So this way it doesn't have to go to your spinning hard drive to access those files and instead it could quickly get them through your USB, uh, through your USB stick or the flash card, uh, whatever you have. Um, in my case, my computer has an SSD hard drive so I can't take advantage of it, but this is another way that you can improve your computer's performance. Now, one more thing that I wanna walk through and one primary cause that a PC can also slow down is if you have a virus on your computer or if you have malware on your computer. And so how do you get rid of that? Well, there are a lot of different antivirus programs, like you have McAfee, you have Norton, but Windows comes with antivirus software. You don't have to buy antivirus software. Uh, what you could do is I'm gonna go down to search and you type in Defender. Um, it's called Windows Defender. And if I click into that, uh, here I am in the settings for it. I'll open the Windows Defender Security Center. And what you wanna do is just make sure that Windows Defender is enabled, it's running. There's no need for Norton antivirus. There's no need for McAfee. Windows Defender is good enough. You don't need any of this commercial software because you already have it on your machine. Um, and once you've done all these steps, if you've gone through and done them, you should notice um, an improvement in the performance on your PC. Uh, probably the last step you wanna do is once you set up your startup programs, once you free up some disk space, reboot your machine and you should notice that the, the experience is much quicker, things will be a little speedier, um, and hopefully that really helps you. Um, if there are any other tips that you recommend, anything else that you wanna share that improves um, how fast your computer runs, feel free to leave a comment, let other people know 
um, the, the tips and tricks that you found that work well for you. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see future content like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime future content like this comes out. Thanks everyone, hope you enjoyed it.